Hello everyone and welcome to the Golden Mulberry Library's video about how to use Belinda Borrowbox eBooks with Adobe Digital Editions and your portable e-reader such as Kobo. Okay, so first of all you need to have Adobe Digital Editions installed on your computer. To find the link to download the software you can go to the Borrowbox page via the library, then click Help. Download eBooks. And then Adobe Digital Editions download page. From here you can download and then install the software for either Windows PC or Macintosh. Before you start reading and transferring ebooks to your e-reader, you need to have authorised Adobe Digital Editions. To do this, you click Help, Authorise Computer. If you already have an Adobe ID, you can enter the details here and sign in. If you don't already have an Adobe ID, then click Create an Adobe ID. Okay, so for this page, you need to enter your name, your email address, um, create a password, and it does tell you that it needs to have at least one number or symbol, upper and lower case, and be at least eight characters long, uh, your date of birth, and also agree to the terms of use. And then you can go back into the computer authorization and enter your Adobe ID and sign in using that email address and the password that you just created. and the computer has been authorised. Now that Adobe Digital Editions is all set up, you can go into the BorrowBox webpage and borrow an ebook. If you're not sure how to do that, then you can have a look at our other video about using the BorrowBox webpage. So we're going to download this one. And we need to click on download for e-reader. This will start the ebook downloading. Um, you might get a message coming up that asks whether you want to open or save the file and you should choose open. Uh, if it comes up like this, you click here and say open when done. And the file will then open in Adobe Digital Editions ready for you to start reading. The good thing is that once it has been downloaded, you don't need to be connected to the internet anymore to be able to read it. So you click through by clicking on the left and right arrow buttons here. To let you read all of the pages in the book. When there's a table of contents, you can click through to go straight to a specific chapter. and you can start reading that item. And you can do this from within the book just like that or you can use the navigation panel to look through the table of contents here. You can create a bookmark by clicking the bookmark button. And you can also navigate through a series of bookmarks using the navigation panel. There's the one that we just created. You can also change the font size depending on your own needs. And you can search within the text if there's something in particular that you're interested in. And then it will bring it up for you. So if we click back to the library, we can see that this book that we borrowed, Jamie's 30 Minute Meals, is now on our shelf. If we want to return it early, we can right click on the cover and select Return Borrowed Item. This will delete the book from Adobe Digital Editions and will also return it so that someone else can borrow it. You can also choose just Remove from Library. This will just delete the book but it won't return it so you'll be able to download it again. Either way you get this warning message confirming that you want to remove the book. Okay, so that's how we read the book on the computer. If you have an e-reader and you want to transfer the book to it, you first need to close down Adobe Digital Editions, 
Connect your e-reader to your computer and wait for it to show as connected. You can then reopen Adobe Digital Editions and you will see that the e-reader appears with your bookshelves on the left here. To transfer the e-book to the e-reader, you simply click and drag the cover of the e-book from the shelf over to the e-reader and you can see a small green plus will appear. When you release your mouse button, the book will be transferred. After the transfer process is complete, you simply close down Adobe Digital Editions and disconnect the e-reader from the computer. When you turn on your e-reader, the e-book will appear ready for you to read. OK, thank you for watching our video about how to use our new BorrowBox service with your e-reader or computer. We hope you enjoy reading some new e-books soon.